Okay, back with you, Romeo. Um, you had mentioned something, not about this artwork, but something else that you wanted to, the next phase as far as a restaurant or something like that? What yes. Say? Right. Now that one is in process already. Mm -hmm. I've tried, started clearing off the soil, uh, the way where I dumped the soil mm -hmm. in the beginning, mm -hmm. when I started clearing mm -hmm. the topsoil. Mm -hmm. I'm now removing that soil and putting it back into the... Okay, I'm putting back that soil back to where it was mm -hmm. uh, because now it, uh, it's been a year, it, it's, it's like a compost. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm now putting it back in and I'm going to um, mix it together with the soil that is there mm -hmm. and I'm paving it now. Mm -hmm. That place where it was, I've made a small uh, veranda, uh, veranda and, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm going to get to start off a kitchen. I want to start to uh, provide the meal that I'm going to be planting. The vegetable that you're going to be wanting to buy at my place when you come, you'll be able to even get to eat it right there. So no, but you did. In fact, you can even go and pick the vegetable you want and then bring it to you and you'll yes. cook it right in front of you. And I'll cook it right in front of you. I'll get it together with the beef that is required for it and the stiff pup. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm devious. You know, I understand you do I'm not saying to do this, but I say, no, no, we're, doing, we're vegetarian this week or, or, or we're, we're vegan this week, you know, or, or for the next couple of months. You know, we'll, we'll get to the beef a little while or something like that. But I'm perverted like that. Um, so let me ask you, so, now, so this restaurant, or, uh, Anybody can come this and just have a meal, you know. And but is it just you running it? How's this going to work? You're, you're planting, you're running. What, what's your staffing? Yes, right now I'm all alone. Everything is solo. I'm doing it on my own. So it's just gradually. Mm. By the time I start planting, I mean, I've already started planting. I have to tra transplant it. I have to harvest it. I have to uh, load it. I have to go and sell it. Mm. Uh, and then also, I'm, I'm still pro in process of uh, the kitchen. Mm. The kitchen also, because it's, it's not like I'm going to be selling the whole day. Mm. I'll just distribute to the supermarkets, come back. Mm. And then I'll be able to, while the customers are coming to buy, I'll be alerting them to, or telling them that I'll be having a, a kitchen mm. where I'll be selling the traditional meal. It's called Sadza and Murillo. They, they so say it again? Sadza and Murillo. Okay, how do you yes. spell it? Uh, S-A-D-Z-A, -A, that's Sadza. And what, and what is Sadza? Sadza is the stuff pup. Oh, stuff okay. Pup, yes. And the, the Murillo is, 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 is the, the, the veggie, yes. Yeah. But now when we say with the Murillo, you can be having it with the beef stew. Mm. Uh, to give you the traditional mm. meal from back home. Mm -hmm. And what part of Zimbabwe? Is from all of Zimbabwe? Is this the whole region? of Zimbabwe, oh, yes. it's not a traditional yes. thing, it's a whole? Okay. Yes, it's a home meal. You can get it in Harare, you can get it in Palawayo. That's our staple diet. Well, let me ask you, I, I have to ask this question. I don't really want to put it out there, but I do have to ask this question. So, do you, do you, do you, have, do you have dogs to protect the area? Or what, what do you, what, how do you, or somebody stay, I don't understand. Even when you get your kitchen, is it going to be, uh, uh, I don't want to say, I have to say this, like a woman helping in the, in the kitchen? What's going to happen? Right, for, for now, it's in the primary st okay. stages, yes. It's, it's still something that I have to lift up. I'll have to first look for the customers. When I start receiving, the more the customers, then I'll have to start bringing in one or two, three yeah, or four. You can sustain the staff. Yes. Well, the other thing is, I took a, a course once uh, at, the, at the graduate school, uh, the uh, graduate school of business at the University of Cape Town. It was really called Acumen for Artists. It was an amazing uh, uh, course. Um, uh, shouldn't you be looking into some sort of business course or have a business person coming to you to, to improve, to, to look at project your model or something like that? I'm just asking, I don't know. Yes. Have you thought about that? No, uh, which is true. Because also I'm in the process of trying to look for advice from general people, from almost anyone and everyone. Mm -hmm. they, they come with whatever they have and I, I take it together with, with us, whatever I have and I put it together. But, but don't they have a business school here at the University of Fort Hamilton? Don't they have students that maybe come? I don't know, I'm just asking you. Yes, I, I do receive some people, yes, coming to give advice. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I can't say I'll be able to become a student also and 
Mm. No, I don't want you to become a student. Yes. That'll be the last thing you want to be. Mm. I'm just saying there they could be a, an advisory board. I don't know what. Yes. I, yes. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. And that's exactly that's exactly what I'm looking for because practically I need help when it comes to the soil, when it comes to the crops, when it comes to the weather. I have no idea. I just started it as a small project while I was working. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Clue, you have a question. Hey, look who's, look who's, look who's here. <laughs> no, what I, I, I want to ask me, when you say you got no, you, you want information or you want to know more about the, the soil, the crop, the, you see, what I, uh, I should like um, tell you or advise you, you see, the more you do the thing, is the more you learn. Because yes. I was doing the, the gardening while I was young, when my grandfather was teaching me how to garden. Mm -hmm. But at uh, that time, I was, not, I was not that much. But now, I'm in the gardening, doing the gardening. Mm -hmm. I learn all the stuff while I'm there in the garden, because you can see which product is not, which, which soil is not good for this product. When you take out from that soil and you, you, you put it to the other soil, and then it, it is gonna, it's gonna tell by itself, so this ground is, is fine for me, but what I know, the loam soil is the better soil for the every veggies. <laughs> but the, 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 wet, the wet soil that is muddy, it's, it's, it's so much loam soil and, uh, and the clay soil is not good for the, for the veggies. So you must only check the, the, the quality of the soil. Even the quality of the soil, you can feed it. Mm. You see, the loom soil is the black one. Yes. You see, there is so much loom soil here, but it's the one that you can use for your veggies. Because you, you, you learn by doing stuff. Because if the, 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 um, these people, we said, the educated people, they can come and tell you. They will tell you something that they learn from the book, but you learn mostly in the on the ground because if you learn from the ground you will you will have so much knowledge more than those who go to school <laughs> then you can write your own book mm -hmm. uh, let, let, let me ask you this, this around me um uh, Claude is actually actually correct but my question really was about business meaning like you know uh, if you grow this vegetable then you can't get it out or you can't sustain getting it out Th that that's the business model i'm talking about what when you start growing what you're going to do the accounting with the banks and all the rest of that other stuff but let's leave that alone let's let's, let's leave that alone you said something very interesting somebody came by the other day they said they were going to east so what was what was that what happened sorry somebody came by and they were going to east london they, what, what, what? oh yes there's there's a there's a man who stays like two or three rows away from uh, where I stay. So he passed through, it was in the evening, day before yesterday, and I heard uh, he wooted, he wooted, and I went and said, hi, how are you? He says, fine. He says, no, I'm interested in what you're doing, but I just want to know, is there anything you want me to buy for you? I'm going to East London, which is a bigger town. Um, uh, like tomorrow. Yeah, it's like yes. two hours away. Yeah. yeah. So um, it, that you can plant, uh, that you can add on to your small piece of uh, uh, thing, on on your piece of land. So I I didn't have enough time to figure out what is it I need because I'm growing like almost ten ten crops at the same time because I just um, in a process of learning also uh, with all these vegetables I haven't planted them before but they are in the ground and they are already coming up big there's spinach there's lettuce there's cabbage there's broccoli um, cornflower onions there are quite a few so I've, I've uh, planted them in the front and I'm leaving kale specially for the back mm -hmm. because that's going to be the main thing mm -hmm. so he came and he asked me is there anything that you want me to buy for you because I'm going to be in East London that you can add on to there mm -hmm. and I didn't have enough time I just uh, said no spinach and mm -hmm. I should be getting some spinach uh, mm -hmm. from him mm -hmm. he said by, by but he's getting the seeds yes. yes he's going to bring me no uh, he's going to bring me the um, oh the seed the, the seed yes okay. the seedlings mm -hmm. yeah okay okay well I will tell you this we have uh, because you know I, I I'm not a but let me put it this way I started to um, because I I we, when we were living up near the, 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 the garage, you know, uh, up there in the, the, the big, next to Royal, mm -hmm. um, just as a project, because I got tired of throwing away 
you know, like like I, I cut like ginger or, like, or I cut, you know, the stems for the thing. And I got tired of just throwing them in garbage. So there was a plot of lamb. So I just started to dig a hole just to put it in there. And I kept on digging these holes like that. And then we started growing stuff. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we used to we work garden with kale because I like kale. And we had some carrots, beetroot, beetroot. We used to them. Beetroot is excellent. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, then, then I, just before we left that space, I started to try to get um, both garlic and ginger. They take yes. a long time. I was looking at internet how to do it, whatever have you. And I, so anyway, so that's that's what happened. Then we moved someplace else, and then we were doing some stuff. Now we're out in Salamazi, close to you, yes. and we still have seeds. I'll show you the seeds. You know, you can have the seeds, or whatever. But I have my little plot, and I, okay, my thing is just digging a hole and, put, mm. <laughs> and putting waste in. But then somebody came along, Colin came by, and said, oh, let me help you garden, because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't throw seeds. There. I didn't care. You know what I mean? So he started to work, you know, to plot the garden out like that. Mm -hmm. And so, what I'm, what I'm saying is that, and we have different things, so I'm not doing a traditional thing, I, you know, maybe a carrot like that, but I'm not going to do any, uh, uh, I want broccoli, we had broccoli at the time, mm -hmm. but, but this, uh, the cabbage, no, I don't want no cabbage, regular spinach that we have around, no, I don't want no spinach, everybody's got spinach, but like you said, the kale is something that, that's, that's that's that, 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 and, that, and that, that also improves the area's diet, that people yes. will do different things, that's my, that's my idea. Yes. Let's, let's, let's put it that way. Okay, so look, um, again, and you, and you know, we cook, you know, uh, I, I really, it would be interesting when you get the kitchen going on. What I want to do, if we can get any land near you, it would be interesting if we could join forces and get, and, 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 and sort of get the kitchen going. Because my wife doesn't like to be alone. She really likes to, to she, and she's, she's still she's a designer for fashion design. She really <laughs> likes to do other, you know, Yes. Sort of balance thing. So, so count on us is what I'm trying to say. You know, we're yes. we're there. We're we're going to work on this project. I'm gonna maybe Colin, who knows the area, uh, he's he has a farm someplace close by. I'm gonna hook you two up, and we can, you know, see where see where you see what you want to do. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay.